Dear students, I welcome on behalf of MIT Institute of Organic Agriculture in the class of Introductory Entomology. Today we will discuss about a new order, Odonata. This is the order of dragonfly and damselfly. We have seen dragonflies like butterflies which belong to Lepidoptera. Dragonfly on the other hand it is a different insect and it depends it belongs to the order Odonata. So let us watch the presentation. What are the characteristics of odonata or odonates? Their stigma is a rectangular, large compound eyes, short bristle like antenna, they have short antenna. They have reduced antenna because their use is limited. The use of an antenna in dragonfly is very limited. Eyes are compound as well as oscillage are also present. So they have well developed the eyes. They have huge and multi-faceted compound eyes. They provide excellent eyesight. They have excellent eyesight. They can see from the very remote place. Odonates are experts at detecting movement and color. They can identify UV light and polarized light because of very strong compound eyes. So what are the meaning of odonates? Odonate means large primitive predatory aquatic insects. They are found near water, near the lake, near the ponds. These dragonflies are always found near the water. So these insects have also two pair of membranous wings. This is the taxonomic position or classification. Kingdom is Animalia, Phylum is Arthropoda, Class Insecta, Order Odonata. This order has three suborders. We must remember that they have three suborders. Number one is called Zygotera. The best example is damsel flies. Zygotera has five families. Suborder Anisotera. The best example is dragonflies. This is the largest suborder in this order. They have seven families. Largest number of families are found in Anisotera. Suborder Anisogyogotera. Only one family belong to Anisogyogotera. Now we can see what are the difference between dragonfly and damselfly. Before difference we should note the similarities. What are similar between dragonfly and damselflies? So two pair of wings on adults. Both have two pair of wings whether it is dragonfly or damselfly. Labial look like toothed. Tooth like a structure is looking. This is the labium. You can see it is looking like tooth. Tooth of the animals. This is tooth like a structure. And this is nothing but labrum. Labium. Labium looks like tooth. Labium means lower lip. 
the dragon flies are carnivores or predators they can eat other mosquitoes other soft insects other bees other small insects so these are the common characteristics of dragon flies and damsel flies now the difference between the two the wing size and position is different the resting position of dragon fly is different than the damsel fly eye positioning is different between the damsel fly and dragon fly thorax and size of abdomen is different damsel fly have long elongated abdomen and dragon flies have a strong broader abdomen ovipositors and egg sacs are different nymph breathing is different now we understand the geographical range where they are found so they are found worldwide almost in all continents these insects are found except in antarctica they are found in tropical region subtropical region only in antarctica they are absent otherwise they are found all over the world they have incomplete life stage so they are hemi metabola mean in a star molt 8 to 17 times adults few weeks to 6 weeks they have molting many times you can see 8 to 17 times where are they live habitat habitat is near the water whether it is marshy land lakes pond streams and wetlands diet since they are predators and carnivores they eat mosquitoes other small insects like flies bees and wasps and butterflies so they are and their predators are birds dragon fly is taken by birds lizards frogs a spider fish water bugs and larger dragon flies larger dragon fly can prey on a smaller dragon flies so they are solitary most of the time and males are territorial males are territorial the nymphs are aquatic and the adults are terrestrial or flying type migration a few species migrate north and south so you can see the wings the position of wings at rest is lateral their body is a stout a stout means short and strong elongate body is not very small elongated the wings are membranous the wings are transparent the eyes are compound the body is slender in damsel fly you can see very long and slender body that means this is not dragon fly it is a kind of damsel fly their wings are also membranous and transparent eyes are compound they fold their wings together ever back at rest they can fold their back wings at the back classification dragon flies and damsel flies belong to the class insecta and the sub class is pterygota pterygota means adults have wings they make up the order odonomata 
they have three suborders. Number one is Jigopterra, that is dragonfly. Number two is Anisoptera, damselfly. Number three is Anisogigoptera. Example is ancient suborders. So their reproduction is also important. You can see the male dragonfly and female dragonfly. They make a wheel shape. This is a wheel type of a structure, a rotating structure. And male guard the females. They protect the females. They protect the Eggs are round, nymphs are aquatic, adults are terrestrial or fly. Male stays with female while egg laying occurs. So, it means that they care their young ones. <coughs> like other living populations, they care their young ones or kids. Life cycle is incomplete. Egg means adult. Only three stages are there. There is absence of larva. Nymph are aquatic. They prey on other invertebrates in the water. Fish can also prey on them. They can molt six to fifteen times in the water. And they have heavy metabolus metamorphosis. They have number in more than 5,000 species. They have greater speed. They can fly at 60 mph, means per hour, 60 miles per hour. And they can control the population of mosquitoes. They eat 30 to hundreds of mosquitoes per day. So they are of ecological significance and these are the references. Now we are open for discussion.